Okay, this is an introduction into OpenSCAD's import function where you can import um, a f something you've been working on or someone else's work um, in the form of an STL file. So I have here um, an STL file that I've created before, coast around 10 cm the STL, and it's on my desktop and inside another folder called import test. Okay, so I'm going to sh show you how you can import that. So you can use the import command. Um, you need the parentheses, and then inside that, the address is going to go inside of quotation marks. Okay, so I'm going to put the the full address here. Okay, it's going to be slash home, mm slash desktop. Okay, mm is my username, right? And then the name of this folder, import dash test, and then the name of this file, which is coaster round 10 cm dot stl. I'm going to hit F5, and there we have that simple coaster that I created before. Cool. Now, if we save this inside the same folder where I put this coaster STL file, then we won't need to use the whole address. We can, we can use a relative address. So I'm going to save this in here. I'm going to call it uh, Coaster Remix. Okay, and now I should be able to change this here to just the name of the file without the full address, and we should be good to go. Yep, there we are. So again, the SCAD file is in the same folder as the file we're importing. Now, if we wanted to import a bunch of files and organize this better, maybe we'd have a new folder, and we call it Imports, and then we'd have our STL file inside that folder. Now, this is going to cause a problem if we try and use this any changes it's going to disappear we have to add the name of the folder here so you can do a, a relative address like this and then everything is going to come up nicely okay and then of course you can also do regular manipulation such as translate function yeah so if i type this in here if i put the translate command before the import command and preview it now it's translated just like anything else. So it's moved on the x-axis to positive 25 and z-axis to positive 50. So it's up and to the right a little bit. Okay, you could do the same thing but with the rotate command. So if I type rotate and then I do, uh, let's see, let's go, let's do some other numbers here 60 and 30. Now it's rotated. And of course, you can also import the same file multiple times if you need to. So let me just copy what I had here before. OK, so now I've got what I did before with the translate up here and the rotate. And if I preview it, I've got both. So I've got my object imported twice. And of course, you can do this as many times as you need. All right, so now you know how to import files, STL files into your OpenSCAD, so uh, have fun.